What's up everyone and welcome back to another video on GG Games YouTube channel. Today I am going to do something that I'm not really sure if there's like still people into this but I am going to make a emblem, yes, in Call of Duty World at War 2. Why World at War 2? Why not Black Ops 4 or something or like Black Ops 3? Just because I like World at War 2 the most. Um, the emblem that I'm going to show right now is as far as I believe uh, possible to make in all the color duties uh, because I'm gonna make uh, dice for the people that don't know dice dice is basically the creator of battlefield um, not really sure if they did more but they are the creators of battlefield 1 at least I thought battlefield 4 and uh, I'm not really sure about heartland but I guess dice is basic dice is basically battlefield so Today I'm going to show how to make this one. Uh, I've made some more emblems. I have made 16, out of which one ain't mine. That is this one. This one is a standard one. I'm not really sure why I still have that, but uh, today I'm going to show you how to make dice. I'm going to explain what I have as well. I got as well Peggy 99. Uh, well, yeah. Who, who doesn't know Peggy? Peggy is basically a, a, a warning on games and movies I think as well I'm not really sure about that uh, at least on games that says for which age is this and of course Peggy 99 ain't there as far as I believe you got like Peggy 3 Peggy 7 Peggy 8 Peggy 16 12 18 you know all those kind of numbers um, I got one shot two kills no luck only skills that is something that I had always in Black Ops 2 I got a Ducati logo for people that don't know Ducati Ducati is basically a motor brand uh, a, a kind of racing bikes they make um, yeah they make racing bikes but also like uh, roadsters or how you call those road bikes but not something like uh, Harley or something it's yeah, it's totally different now nevertheless let's go here we got Kamaz Master as well for the people that don't know who Kamaz Master is or let's say Team Kamaz uh, yeah, I can definitely understand that you don't know because that's a Russian uh, rally team. I'm not sure if they do other things, but I know them from the Dakar rally where they always come with like three Kamaz trucks. Kamaz is basically a truck brand, and yeah, most of the time they win because they're the Kamaz is just a very good truck to say. And Team Kamaz is basically the rally team from Kamaz. Uh, over here we got Emma Ann, for the people who don't know that, that is basically a European truck brand. We got Lancia, what I think is one of my bad, or not bad, but I mean one of the better emblems I've made. I made Rolls Royce, but of course this one doesn't look like Rolls Royce since the big R's in the middle don't really fit in there. I have to um, finish this one. I got Dell from the computers, I got Smart from the cars as well, this is basically a daughter company of Mercedes we got a wheelchair as far as I believe uh, we got Lamborghini of course it's not really the Lamborghini but that's because we don't really have a bull I got the Lotus emblem which is kind of my favorite one since I'm a real big fan of Lotus I got Jeep look perfect and I got a Pepsi man and of course this one so today I'm going to show you how to make dice so let's just go in over here all you need to do is get yourself a background so um doesn't really matter what you take you can do like you can do it how I done it or you can just fill up the entire screen uh, like this and then give it a color like this black um, I like dice more to be like a smaller thing so I'm gonna go and cut this out I'm gonna take a square sorry for that a square with not round corners but like these the pointy I'm pressing the R3 button to go to free scale as you see I can now do this what I'm gonna do is basically make a, uh, make like a, an, a license plate like this you see make it a little bit bigger like that give it a beautiful black background like this well that was the first part uh, I'm gonna tell you that the entire emblem is made out of squares because I was just lazy and because yeah it basically look good so I'm gonna take this again the same square I'm gonna f let it fit in like this perfect I'm gonna copy it um, 
you can see your screen would copy i'm on ps4 so that's with on my controller it's the um what is it the, the, the touchpad if you're on ps3 xbox i'm not really sure anymore what that is since i literally didn't touch my ps3 for over two years i guess so i'm sorry for that but I, yeah it's in the screen so nothing to worry about so you got this square and i didn't copy did it no i copy it and i paste it over here i'm gonna press on it i'm gonna change the color and i'm gonna change it to black you think hey where the heck did my square go well it's still there what you now have to do is press r3 again to go to free scale and basically size it up a little make it smaller let me see there it goes and you want to make a d out of it so that's going to be like this something mm, yeah just like this okay now we got the d the D from dice is like basically a C, but then turn around. So we also need a I. So we're gonna copy this. Gonna drag that over here. Where do I want to have it? On the same height, like that. Gonna copy this black square. I'm gonna paste it over here. Might be going very fast, but that's because it's a pretty simple um, logo. So it doesn't have to take that long, but. Of course you can do it long, but it is pretty easy. You can pause the video, you can rewatch it or what else if you want to. I'm not really sure. So now we got a D and an I. So we're gonna paste this white square again in here. We're gonna need a C, so we're gonna place it over here. You're gonna take the black square. Uh, now my my take this one since this one is already already the same size and you don't want to have your letters to be different size so I'm gonna just copy that black one I'm gonna move it over here I'm gonna do this slowly because I want to have it on the exact same height damn it so now you basically turn the D around by doing it like this now we got a D I and a C you might want to change it up that all the lines are the same bigness but I'm just doing this fast so I'm not doing that for now now we're gonna make the E mm. yeah it doesn't really matter um, I am did it a little bit too big so we're gonna change that back again but then we're gonna change that later on okay let me go and grab this sword whoa sword that is Dutch for black basically uh, let's take this black box place it over here press it and drag it now you're gonna do some free scaling as well just like that I wanna have it like I'm gonna make it like this there we go we're gonna grab this white box we're gonna place it over here we're gonna drag it a slightly bit down do the exact same with the black one copy paste slide it a little bit down like that copy paste the white box again slide a little bit down like like uh like oh shitty damn i'm um, sorry for that like this i'm gonna grab this one real quick i'm gonna put it a little bit more down same goes with this one like that same with this one well, now we got uh, the white box over here. What do we do? We take another black box. We, sh we, we move it downwards like this. And since I don't want to really let it stick out, I'm going to do this. So this, this black box fits in. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the white box. going to size it down a bit like that. Where's the black box? Put the black box up a little bit since it's outside of the u the huger black box or how you say that. Uh, and like like that I guess. Which black box is that? I guess it's this one. So we're gonna take that black box, make sure it fits perfectly inside, just like this. And since we did a, a mistake in the beginning, 
I'm gonna make this one like like this or something. All right, you might think it doesn't look like anything on the moment. No, it does. But you can always change it a bit. This is how you make the dice logo. If you do it a little bit slower and make sure you got like a ruler next to it, then it's most likely easier to create. Um, wait a second. I'm I'm gonna adjust it a bit. Let me see where is it. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna bring it up like this, like that. You can of course put this a little bit over here. Put this a bit over here same with this one put it a bit over here black one white one but that's what you always do you start with a rough sketch and you basically adjust it a bit and that's how you perfectionize it like that Put that a bit backwards. Now we did something wrong over here in the C. We want to have this one to size it a bit down, like like this, I guess. Go back over here. Do the same thing. Size it a bit down like 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 oh don't go down like this I guess well yeah that looks better and then we go back to the E from E nope we don't want to have this we want to have the second white box just a bit yes now we're gonna go to the third one I so have that as well grab the black box like that make sure the middle black box is a little bit lower because you want to have all the the lines the same thickness so this one is good then we move the black box a slightly bit down like this and you got yourself a dice logo that's how you do it uh, of course you can do it different you can of course use lines or something but you know I thought this was the good thing to do I did it pretty fast now we can size this in a bit not too much that those squ other squares get out on the on the bottom on our top or what else. Well, now we got it like that. You're gonna save it, and this is what we just created, and this is what I created before. So there is a slightly difference. Uh, mine one has a bigger back uh, background. The has a bigger background. I have to say. And this one has a smaller one, but the letters are bigger than here. The letters here are a little bit smaller. But as you see, not that much of a difference. They're, I, in my opinion, they look good. But you, of course, have look like the drawers and the painters and what else. They, uh, of course, say it doesn't. But yeah, this is how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you want, if you have a suggestion and you want to see how to make that I would like to try it um, would like to do some more effort than just doing this dice with only blocks mm, like I did with the lens yeah this this one is like a slightly bit more complicated oh that wasn't the plan let me real quick check it out let's see over here we got edit we got a, like the background has like pointy points that's all good. Oh yeah, wait, wait, that might be good on this one. But then I got a blue one inside. We got a circle. We got two half circles. You got like a big block in the middle to basically connect those two halves with each other. Then we got these to basically make the, the like the, the, the triangles in the middle more pointy. As you see over here, they're a bit all the sides. And we put in the letters. And then we also had those things, those diamonds, to make it a little bit more pointier. But that's 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 pretty hard to do, basically. And I also got a lotus, what I'm pretty proud of. But yeah, it doesn't really want to work. Let me see. Oh, very good. Look, this one is basically a back a background, a like a silver circle, yellow circle, and then we got like this this r rainy 
yeah, rain icon thing. I don't know how to call it. I got it one time, then I got it like a bit. Of, yeah, I got more of them to basically make it fit better. Then we got a green one that's in sight. We get this to make the top more round, as you see over here. And we got those, 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 those squares. So we made lines of it, so the side is more flat. Since it's over here, if if you look on the bottom, you see it's definitely a little bit rounder. And then we got lotus inside, which is also the same shape, but it has been turned a bit. And then we had to see the C, the A, and the B. I'm not really sure what that means. And the C isn't how it looks in real life. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I did a, I did a small Easter egg in this one. I forgot that. Yeah, if someone takes my emblem away, I can always say yeah, but that's my emblem. Since look, I have got my name in the bottom. What you can't see, you can only see it when you take the first one, basically the background and just size it down you see my name on the bottom <laughs> that's like like a branding or what a marker how you want to have it stamp but yeah that is the easy version i can also make a pepsi man what is basically like a funny thing if you want to see me doing that i'm gonna do that in another video thank you for watching make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this and then i would uh, say thank you for watching might be to another time that we might be gonna do something else uh, yeah, bye-bye.